Hello, Lincoln School. We are back in the fitness corner, ready for another workout. We're going to get right into it today. <clears throat> Mr. Jones is going to, you know, kind of calm it down with all his talking. He talks a lot. His mother would call him a yenta. That's somebody who talks a lot. In Italian, I guess. My mom was Italian. Uh, uh, here I go rambling again. Okay, come on, Mr. Jones. Cut it out. So let's start with arm circles. Arms out. Small circles forward. Right, we're getting a little bit bigger. You guys should remember this. We do this a lot in preschool, sometimes in kindergarten, and now all the way around. Just a good dynamic stretch to loosen up our shoulders. And relax, shake them out a little bit. Arms out, small circles backwards. Good. Let's get a little bigger. And all the way around. Really get those big circles. Don't go fast, remember. Do not go fast and relax. Okay. Right into trunk twists. So I like to I like to do my trunk twists with my uh, my feet apart, you know, a little extra. And all I'm doing is just rotating my body, keeping my feet on the ground. Do not move your feet; just move your body. You should feel sort of a little bit of a dynamic stretch in our core here, and also a little bit in our hips. Right, our hips are uh, where the tops of our pants are on the sides of our legs here. So you should feel a little bit of a twist there. Good, left and right, a little bit of stretch in our back as well, and relax. Okay, next up, pendulum swings. So pendulum swings, what you're going to do for this is legs are, are together or a little bit apart. Either way, it doesn't matter. And what you're going to do is just kick your leg out to the side. Okay, I'm not going forward. I'm going out to the side here while I keep my toes pointed forward. So just kick it over and bring your foot back to where it was. Try to keep your other foot right on the ground there. Do about 10 of them. So on five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax. Now we're going to switch legs. This is also a really good workout for our balance, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten and relax uh, i like that dynamic stretch a lot because it gives us a little bit of flexibility in our hips um, while also getting our legs warmed up for today's workout next stretch we're going to do is leg swings forward so pendulum swings are when our legs are going to the sides leg swings forward obviously it's it's when our legs going forward and it's kind of mimicking or or being like we were kicking a ball, okay, like in soccer or any sport, you know, if we were playing kickball outside, so what you're gonna do, you wanna take a little bit of a step and then kick your foot up as high as you can, okay? You should feel a little bit of a stretch in your hamstring, and your hamstring is the back part of the top of your leg, okay? So you just want a little step, kick your leg up. Don't kick it up as high as you can at first because you wanna get that muscle stretched out. Okay, you're gonna do about 10 on each side. So we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And relax. Good. Now we're going to switch it up. Step and kick with the left. One, two. This is good because when you kick, you don't want to be still and then kick your leg. You want to take that step before you kick. That brings something called momentum. Momentum will bring power, and you will be able to kick the ball further. So always remember that. Stepping and kicking, you'll be able to kick the ball further. I've uh, lost complete track of how many leg swings this is. So I'm going to do one more and call it a day. Good. All right. So we really did a nice job there with our dynamic stretches. We're going to do one more, a little bit of a warm-up. We're going to jog in place for 30 seconds. Then we're going to get into our strength exercises for today. All right, let's get ready to jog. Remember, the higher you get your knees, the harder this workout becomes. Okay, the faster you move your feet, the harder it is. So if you're looking for a really hard workout, move your feet really fast. You know, if you're looking to just warm up, just move your feet, you know, at, at a normal speed, faster than you would walk though. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Good. Okay. Let's go right down to the ground, guys. We're going to start off with our big three workouts. Actually, just saw a fly fly by in here. This could be a long day here in the gym. Could be a really long day. It's not good. It's not good at all. I have to open a window. All right. So we're going to start off with push-ups. Make sure you're in a good push-up position, right? Um, if you want to get a good trick for that is, and I actually just saw this, and, and you can do this yourself here. Let me see if I can move my camera the right way for once. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't have anything to put on the ground right now, but let's say I did. Here's a great way to keep yourself strong and healthy while you're doing your push-ups. So if you have an area like a mat like this, what you're going to do is you're going to you know, come down. You're on your knees here, almost like you're getting into a push-up position or a modified push-up position. And what you're going to do is you're going to touch your nose down to the ground and put your hand where you just put your nose. You're, I put my left hand. I'm going to take my right hand now and put it behind my left hand so it's a straight line. Then I'm going to take that front hand, put it to the side of the mat so it's even with my right hand, and I'm going to move my right hand over. Okay? Looks like now I'm just in almost the same position, but what I'm going to do is when I get into my push-up position is try to now touch that spot that I touched with my nose previously. So it's almost like I'm diving forward a little bit. And this will really work on our tricep muscles, which are the back of our arms, um, and, and keep us from, I wouldn't say injuring ourselves, but keeping ourselves as healthy as possible and our muscles as strong as possible, okay? So let's do 10. If you're doing shoulder touches, you can do the same thing, keeping your hands at that same spot and just do shoulder touches. You can do 20 of those. I'm going to do push-ups, so if you're doing 10, you can do them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax. Good job, guys. All right. So if you're still doing shoulder touches, go ahead. But, yeah, so I watch a lot of um, videos, you know, just about how – people exercise and you know I, I listen to a few doctors about um, proper ways of doing these things you know the correct ways of doing push-ups the correct ways of doing sit-ups the best way for your body so that you don't necessarily so you don't get injured um, which is the main thing but so that you get the most out of each workout and that's the most important thing so if you're looking there you see my smart board nice smart board Mr. Jones thank you okay Sit-ups. Let's do 15. I'm going to find you know, my feet up against the wall, right? That helps me a lot. Um, if you have somebody at home that can hold your feet down, even better, okay? Or if you want to put them under a couch. Remember, I used to put them under my couch. Still hasn't gotten dirty, by the way. So, thanks for asking. Ready? 15. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and relax. Good. All right, next up, we're going to do some squats, okay? So as you can tell, this is a big three workout, right? I could do these and mix it up. I know the last workout video, I did not do any um, of our big three exercises, just exercises that help improve those big three, squats, push-ups, and sit-ups. We're going to get into squats now. Remember, try to get as low as you can. If you're really having trouble with these squats, go by a couch, and you can sit down on the couch and stand up, okay? Try to progress, which means try to get better, for, for lack of a better term. Try to get better so that you don't have to sit on the couch and that you can just squat down almost like you're sitting in an imaginary chair and then come right back up okay so if i was pretending there's a chair behind me i would just sit in the chair and come right back up feet should be apart they could be a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and your knees are actually going to go out a little bit not straight just a little bit out so it's easy to sit and pop right back up okay let's do 20. oh yeah we're working today one two three four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Come on, keep getting low. Fourteen, fifteen. You do it. Keep going. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job, guys. Good work out there. 20 squats is a lot to do. Excellent job. Very proud of everybody. Um, if you need to take a break, take a break. Relax. I'm going to take one right now because we're going to do another leg exercise. And that will be it for the strength exercises. If, in case you were wondering, no sign of the bug anywhere. It's fly. It's fly. I was flying around the gym here. I'm not sure how it got in. Maybe somebody left the window open. It wasn't me. Tell you right now, was not me. I do not leave windows open. You know, I was thinking about it. I used to love the summertime, you know. And then I I bought my own house, so I moved out of my parents' house, and then I started to hate the summertime because there's so many books and. My dad doesn't live close, so he wasn't able to get rid of the bugs for me. So I was in charge of the bug removal all of a sudden. That that uh, that was not fun. So right now I love winter. I am in, I I love winter. Who would have thought that I would love winter? I absolutely love it. My favorite season. My favorite season by far. Not a bug except for a fly zipping around over here. It's great. I absolutely love it. Okay. I mean, there goes Mr. Jones rambling again. Come on, Mr. Jones. All right. So last strength exercise we're going to do is lunges. We're going to do 10 on each leg. Okay. So hopefully you took a break. Got to drink of water. For lunges, step and lunge forward. Try not to get that knee to go again in front of your foot. So a big step and then you're coming down. Don't touch this knee to the ground. Keep it off the ground because you'll build up strength in both legs doing it that way. Okay? So I'm going to face one way. I'm going to do my right leg first. You can change up legs if you want each time. Just do 10 on each side. Ready? One. Two. Three. I like to put my left arm up when I step with my right leg. Almost like I was walking or running. It's good training for that. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch it over. Left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. And relax. Good. Nice leg workout today. Did our big three exercises. Now we're just going to do our static stretching and round out our workouts. So, big day today, by the way. Haircut day. I'm filming this video on haircut day. I love getting a haircut. I don't know about anybody else, but nothing better than a good haircut. Oh, geez. Here I go again, talking and talking. Okay. So, First thing we're going to do, we've done this on the floor. Today we're going to do it standing up. Spread your feet apart. And what you're going to do is reach down towards the left or the right. It doesn't matter which way you start. But we're going to change it up. And you're going to try to touch your toe and hold it and count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Switch it up. Go to the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gonna go down towards the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are good stretches for our hamstrings, sides of our legs, insides of our legs, backs of our legs. Good to always switch it up a little bit. Next up, we're gonna do our shoulder stretch. I take my arm, go across my body, and hug that arm close to me. Count to ten. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
change it up, other arm goes across, hug that close, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Gonna go over my head now, again for the shoulder stretch, remember, take your one arm, I'm gonna start with my right, pretend I'm reaching in an invisible backpack, Behind me, I can't get what I'm looking for, so I use my other hand to help push it down. Counts 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Change it up. Other hand now goes. Other hand helps push it down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And relax. Okay. A couple more stretches. I gotta open a window here in the gym. Let's move this over here. Please don't fall on the ground. That's never happened before. Okay, so calf stretch, right? For our calf stretch, what I wanna do, let me show you a little bit of a better angle here, is one foot comes forward and I'm up against the wall here. So find a wall in your house or wherever you are and put the other leg back. So one leg is forward, one leg is back, almost like I'm in a sprinter stance and I'm about to run. And I want to push against the wall so that you feel a little bit of a stretch in your calf here. You might want to press down almost on, on your toes or just beyond your toes. And press down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent job. All right, guys, last stretch we're going to do. Butterfly stretch. Always like to stretch the inside part of our legs. Feet together. Press down on your legs. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And relax. Excellent job today, guys. You keep making me proud. You keep doing great uh, at home, wherever you are. Excellent job. Super proud of everybody. And I will see you all later.